Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play You Don't Know Jack, The Ride. Shirts. Oh, yeah, kind of. Well, yeah, that's kind of how it goes, huh? Oh well. Hello, welcome to You Don't Know Jack, The Ride. How many people will be playing? Just one player? I mean, mm -hmm. great. Only one player. Are you a first-time rider? Splendid. Glad you had the courage to play again. Please type in your name. Actually, let's try that. Huh. Hang on. Nope, still going. Good. Ah, it's doing something weird Why? here. Why? Because we like you. As you know, your buzzer is the key with the B on. I it. actually tried to type in your name, and it stuck me with Y. Again, welcome to the ride. And I was I'll afraid it might have done bottom. something to my recording there when I hit the backspace key, but it didn't. Time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. You Don't Know Jack is sponsored by the American Association of Taxidermatologists Limited. Whether you need tan skin or skin sand, your hide is safe in our hands. Okay. And now, here he is, the hardest working guy in trivia, your host, Guy Towers. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the game. Uh, I hope you're prepared to lose your shirt. Well, aren't you lucky? I'm about to show you some skin. Yeah. All right, Not yours. <laughs> Mucho dinero. Okay, here she is. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Here's the question. If someone offers to teach you how to skin the cat, what should you bring to the lesson? Your cat, a butcher's knife and some twine. Your cat, a butcher's knife and a skateboard. Your cat, a butcher's knife and a yo-yo. Or your cat, a butcher's knife and some lotion. Skin the cat. Never heard that referred to as anything. And this would be the right answer. Skin the cat, also known as the tidal wave, is a yo-yo trick. And you know, if you have one of those razor-edged yo-yos, you can skin the cat and skin the cat. Not a yo-yo aficionado. Out this baby's gonna be... Dermatology is the best medicine. Look Could out, be. here it comes. Okay, one dermatologist jokes to the other, Hey, Alan, your epidermis is showing. The other responds, Well, Sid, your subcutaneous layer is showing. What might Sid say next? A lot of people have shingles, you know. Good Lord, get me a bandage! Please, Alan, that's just my cuticle. Or, oh, really, my heart's showing? Shut up. Subcutaneous. <laughs> eh, we'll go with cuticle. Ooh, very close. You know, little known fact, the cuticle is known in dermatology as the cuticle. And for those of you interested in the right answer, the subcutaneous layer of tissue lies beneath the epidermis and the dermis. So if that's showing, then Sid's got some serious problems. Well, aside from thinking that the epidermis is showing joke is actually funny. It's your buzzer. Wow, pretty darn mediocre there. All right, well, this one's yeah. called... Your skin glows as if you've had a nutritional meal. Ready, set, here you go. According to some experts, humans can get all the nutrients they need from consuming just two things. What would be the best name for a product that combines both? Milk spuds, orange, orange, roughy, banana water, or apple beer? Hmm. Apple beer? What, did you spend a little time at the microbrewery before popping in the game here? <laughs> Just for the record, here's the right Wild answer. Wild guesses. Some food experts say we can get all the nutrients we need from a diet of milk and potatoes. Yeah, I think one of the experts is from Idaho and the other one's from Wisconsin. Go figure. Hmm. Tickle your buzzer and let's see how much... This one's called... Do you peek after you strip? Hey, I, you know that song Dean what? Martin's known for singing called That's Amore? Well, there's a reason I bring it up, okay? Check out these alternate lyrics. 
When the strip hits your pore, opens it like a door. What is that? That's Biore, that's Atari, that's Cacciatore, or that's a Pore. That's Biore. Biore makes those poor perfect strips that pull out dirt and blackheads from your disgusting face. And what you rely on when Biore is all gone, that's called duct tape. I think that would clog How up much your will pores. This Time for a little roadkill. Well, let's hope I figure this one out. The answer that unites the two clues. And don't forget to look at all the correct answers so you can guess the bonus question. Okay, let's shift into overdrive. Like them for murder. Keeps dial. Blank. What links these two together? Hey. Okay. Are we doing all types of soap? Stop pedaling and see more. Types of soap it is. Elephants tusks and demon ivory tusky type of lamp and spews from a volcano. Lava. Simple machine and handle. Lever, lever. Depending on which side of the Atlantic Ocean you are. Muscular fitness and sound or pitch. Tone. Okay, let's see some bonus action. What do all the correct answers have in common? Are they all? Wait to prepare eggs! Save them our lives, characters! Made the toys! Brands of sight! Oh, yeah! I don't remember tone. The bubbly. Do not remember tone. All right, get a load of you. Ah, let's keep going. Hit that buzzer and let's see. And the category is fill her up the hard way. Okay, thirty-one hundred and eighty-nine bucks if you can nail this one. Uh, shall we? If the local fast food joint offers free capillary refills, what will they do to you? Press your fingernails, punch your face, slash your wrists, or cut your hair? I kind of have to slash and get inside. No, but that's what I about did last time they were out of those shamrock shakes, though. So what is it? The Press correct fingernails. answer is... Yeah. You can check for good blood circulation by pressing a fingernail and watching the blood refill into the capillaries. Okay. And then you can peel back the nail to see if you're an instant winner. All right, smack your butt. I just kind of went with the fact that the capillaries are in there. inside. Oh, going to be called sex addicts. Hey, uh, are you a sex addict? If you just can't get enough formication, how might you enjoy doing the deed? Only with Norm Crosby while tattoos are being removed, with ants crawling over your skin, or after shaving yourself completely. Formication. Yeah, why not? Hey, uh, here's some aftershave for you. <laughs> wow. Um, how about this one? Formication is an itching sensation that feels like ants are crawling all over your skin. Mm. And by ants, I mean the insects. You know, if you got relatives crawling all over you, that's a whole nother condition you got there. Not a pleasant one. All right, buzz in and let's see. Sweet. It's time for a dis or dad. The category for this dis or dad question is you can be too rich and too skinny. All right, I'm going to list off seven items. And for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a name that includes light or a name that includes slim. You cash in for each okay. one you get right, but you lose out for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. You got 30 seconds to nail all seven. And we're up. Miller, is it light or slim? Right? Jim. Fast. D. Dickens. One 
more. Beautiful. Okay, my friend, there's your score. Uh, let's see what you can do to it. Yeah, everybody all together. Cash we plan for buzzing. This one will be. Do I use the small fork on myself or the big one? Let's go with the big okay, one. Okay, suppose you're attending a formal dinner party at a swanky home in the Hamptons. Funny thing is, the host is a flesh-eating virus, and you're the featured course. Because you're the meat course at a formal dinner, when will the viral dinner guest begin dining on you? Right before the dessert, right before the soup, right before the salad, or right after the bucket of booze? The meat course? Hey, no dessert for you until you get something right. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. The bad news is you'll be eaten right before the salad. Uh, the good news is if there's anything left of you, you'll have plenty of room for dessert. Oh, yeah. Hold that buzzer. Let's see how much cash you can get. Well, that, uh, that sucks. Oh, well. Category. I can stop using lip balm anytime I want to. Here comes the questione. Oh no, the FDA has outlawed Carmex. Based on its ingredients, what might you rub on your lips instead of the addictive lip balm? Rose petals, a beehive, steel wool, or a frog? Wax. Carmex is made with beeswax. Well, hey, I promised you dessert when you got one right, so uh, what do you want? I got some leftover fruitcake or uh, half a Zagnut. <laughs> All right, buzz it. Ooh, stanky. No, oh, well, here's the category. Wow. Sports that need more nudity. Question, please. If you're skinny dipping at the Skins game, who's seeing your naked rump on national TV? Unbelieving soccer viewers, violated NASCAR fans, sickened golf enthusiasts, or disgusted tennis buffs? That's golf. The Skins game is an annual golfing event. The Senior Tour has one, as well as the PGA and the LPGA. And you know, you should really be ashamed of yourself. Golf enthusiasts don't like anything distracting them from the excitement of watching other people play golf. <laughs> How much will this be? And for your viewing oh, pleasure... Oh, you were serious. Love your liver spots. Coming at you. What weapon would work best against Detective George Francisco from the TV show Alien Nation? A dog whistle, a can of insecticide, a switchblade comb, or a squirt gun filled with salt water? In Alien Nation, Detective Francisco yep. is an alien, and uh, the aliens can't take the salt water. It burns their skin. But man, good luck trying to beat him in a sour milk chugging contest. Tickle your buzzer. Gee, I hope you get this clue. What a lovely shade you are. Me, hmm. I prefer Venetian blinds, but you know, I have like a Western exposure, so. Um, oh, well, uh, good luck. Not to be confused with the other thing, Frankenberry's pink. And that's it. Are you kidding me? You rule! Yeah, maybe next time you'll play against somebody. Not likely. Anyway. 
that's been another episode Dying of Let's now Play for You a Don't Know Jack. A success journey with motivational there will be speaker more tomorrow. But for Twitter, now, Dr. Harvey enjoy Bass. the commercials. Let me tell you the story As of I a small away. farm boy from Alaska. Later all. He grew up in poverty, often cold, often hungry, many times forced to eat his own hair for sustenance. His father, a proud man, eked out a living raising caribou and selling their hooves to be made into pencil erasers. The father expected his son to take over the family business. Well, this bright, ambitious boy had a different idea. He had what I like to call a dream. The boy, at the tender age of 12, rented a car and drove from Alaska to a small island off the coast of Florida. There, he fulfilled his dream of growing a beard, smoking big cigars, and talking in a funny accent. Yes, that man is better known to you and me as billionaire entrepreneur and respected world leader, Wilford Brimley. This has been a page from the success journey with Dr. Harvey Bass. This is for my Baptist minister, who instilled in me at a very young age the evils of alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. This is for the kids at school, who by refusing my friendship, force me to adapt and infiltrate any and all social cliques. This is for my older brother, whose bad taste in music gave me a CD collection large enough to drive any person under siege insane. I'm proud to be an officer for the ATF. We raid more homes and violate more constitutional rights by 9 a.m. than most criminals do in a day. The ATF, keeping our country What's the matter, Jimbo? Uh, I couldn't afford to keep my cell phone. Now driving without being on the phone feels weird. <laughs> Have to pay attention to the road, huh? Yeah. Try this. What's in the bag? It's a cell phone substitute. Put it on. I can't see anything with these blinders on. No. Yeah. I see. It also comes with a five-year-old child. How come horses don't have toes? Why do we pee? Who's that? Where are we going? Me, me, Wow, me. it feels just like there? using my cell phone. Oh, not yet. Do you have a hands-free phone? No. Oh, then we have the head-to-shoulder strap. <laughs> wow. How come your head is sideways? With my head fixed to my shoulder, an incessant noise in my ear, and my eyes distracted from the reality around me, I feel just like I'm using my car phone. But I'm not racking up any airtime. Hey, we better get to work, buddy. You're you're right. Speed up. You can't see them, but there's some people riding on bikes just up ahead. <laughs> then let's go. The cell phone substitute, because you don't need technology to be a menace to society. What's menace to sobriety mean? In other news, three out of five celebrities agree that war is bad. Learn more tonight. Playing solitaire on the computer is fun, right? But it's hard to remember all those rules. Now there's a computer card game that gets back to the basics. 52 Card Pickup 2000. That's right. 52 Card Pickup 2000 does all the work by throwing the virtual deck all over the virtual room. Whoa! There are cards all over the place. You know what to do next. Here's the four of clubs under this couch. I'm going to pick it up. Wow, there's three or four under this table. I'm going to pick them up. You can play by yourself or set up exciting tournament play. With your web browser, you can even play other people across the internet. It's simple. It's repetitive. It's 52 Card Pickup 2000. You'll wonder why you ever owned a real deck of cards. Next week on Hallie McNeil, Hallie opens up about her maternal instincts. Hallie, I had a really nice time tonight. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Oh, that's just the dancing embryo. He shows up whenever I feel my biological clock ticking. It looks like a sick tadpole. I know, isn't he cute? Well, I guess it's just you and me, dancing embryo. Hallie McNeil, Mondays. Taylor, why aren't those earnings projections on my desk? I, uh, oh. Uh, Has this I, uh, happened to you? I, uh, we can help. We're Skyfib. Using an advanced network of satellites and messaging pagers, Skyfib provides you with instant context-appropriate excuses. Taylor, I'm still waiting for those earnings projections. Why don't you have them? I, uh, oh, excuse me, my pager. <clears throat> I had to go to Lama's class. You're pregnant? Well, okay. Skyfib can help in any situation. Honey, Tammy said she saw you going into the bowling alley last night. Weren't you working late? Uh, I was, uh, doing a bowl -a -thon for kids with smallpox. Oh, honey, I'm so impressed. And you'd be impressed to know who uses Skyfib. Mr. President, did you have an extramarital affair with that woman? <coughs> Oral sex is not adultery. Good Let answer. Skyfib help you today. But, honey, wasn't smallpox eliminated in the 70s? I, I just, uh, wanted the kids to have a transmission error. I'm dead, aren't I? Oh, yes. Who has time to cook? We don't. We're Sam. And Ella. And we want to invite you down to Sam, Sam and Ella's. Ella's so you can get you and your family a good home raw meal. Sam and Ella's 
beets to salias, runny eggs and chickens. Good and raw mayo from a straw. We'll do the finger lickings. We got frog legs and yeast and dry gelatin. You'll uke till you puke in our dirty kitchen. Now, cute symptoms may last for one to two days, or maybe prolong, depending on host factors and strain. Characteristic salmonellas fill your bellas with spore forming bacterium. Animal feces, all your favorite species, slides down your throats like chum. Yum!